Hello and welcome to A Bug Man's Life. Today we are talking dead, dry and old. What exactly is this? Stay tuned and find out. We call ourselves entomologists and say we love insects, but yet we kill them and stick needles through them so that we can look at them for years to come. Why exactly is this? Well, let's take a look at insect collections and why we have them. Insects are collected, preserved and stored for scientific studies and as a hobby. The biggest scientific collections are housed at natural history museums and at universities. Hobbyists will often donate their collection to a museum or a university once they can't take care of it anymore. These donated collections assist the universities and the natural history museums in growing their own collections for scientific research. Every specimen within a collection differs from one another, even if they're from the same species. Each one has their slightly different characteristics, its own DNA, and data labels, which depict when it was caught, where it was caught, who it was caught by, but that's a completely different story for another day. Now on to the actual questions. Why do we create massive collections of insects, repeating the same specimen over and over and over within a single collection? The first reason is that most insects are small and you have to look at minute morphological characters to identify the species correctly, which just isn't possible from a photograph. Further, many cryptic species which all look exactly the same if you look at them, requires dissections to identify them, such as genitalia dissections of butterflies, moths and beetles, as well as some other insects, to identify the specimen correctly. The second thing that large collections are used for is to identify variations within species, where you take a bunch of the same species and you look how they differ from one another. Thirdly, it is possible to extract genetic data from dried specimens within a collection to do genetic studies. The fourth point is that you can do ecological analysis from the specimens, looking when they occurred, where they occurred and how they interacted with their environment and other species within that environment. Fifth on the list is that you can track and monitor species declines as well as have records of rare and now extinct species. When a new species is discovered, a specimen has to be donated to an accredited institution like the Natural History Museum or a national collection. That specimen will become the type specimen on which the description is based and on which other specimens will be tested to see whether they are the same species. The last reason I have is because insects are beautiful, diverse and interesting and having a collection is one of the most rewarding stuff that you will do in your life. Now that you know why we have insect collections, share this video with a friend and hit the subscribe button because in the weeks to come, we are going to look at more insect collection stuff like how to catch the insects, prepare them and store them later on. So, then I will see you next time.